Okay, everyone, welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. We got a mission where we have to escort this guy through the forest, so I guess we're gonna do it. For a reason. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Mayhaps. You shut up and we go do this quest instead. Mayhaps. Did I wait a minute, did I set this as my priority quest? No. This is what we need. Okay. As I recall, the location of another of our tasks is not far from here. We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. Ah, you've returned. No! Good time. What the too. hell? I have questions for you. I don't want to do this. I, want to... <laughs> I was in the middle of another mission. What a jerk. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? Not now, no. My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Okay, so we say time to prepare. Very well. Speak with me once you've finished your preparations. Going to the capital must be the next part of the story, so let's do stuff here first. Okay. Go for a jog. Look at my little booties now. I got these big booties. <laughs> they look like those boots would collect a lot of water if it rained. I don't know if you'd want those. They're so open. Right? Well, I played Fatal Fury City of Wolves when it's released early next year. Uh, so it's a new Fatal Fury game. I'd have to look into it and see how it plays and stuff. You know, me with fighting games, you know what happens. And if I commit a lot of time to a new fighting game, we got to see if it's going to work. So I'll have to look more into it. Okay. We're on left. Looks like this is a dead end coming up. Maybe enemies in here. Looks like we're going to an ambush, a honestly. Reward, frustratingly so. It will find a use for it, I'm sure. Cool, <laughs> they'll chat amongst themselves. Gee, she's taking us on a on a romp here, huh? This is a good spot. Let's stop here a moment. Obviously, someone else was here. with my brother many a time. No doubt he caught his breath here before moving on, same as us. A forgotten rift stone we've not discovered lies nearby. Tis this way, as I recall, from my last sojourn beyond the rift. So we can actually make a camp here. If the Arisen is a camping kit to, in, to hand, I don't think I do. They can pitch their tent by remains of a campfire found at set spots throughout the wilderness. Much like staying at an inn in town, resting at a campsite restores the party's health and stamina and recovers the lost gauge. Adventurers who seldom return to town can be sure to keep a camping kit in their packs, let exhaustion overwhelm them. Camping also affords the opportunity to grill some meat, granting a boost to certain stats upon consumption. The finer the quality of the meat, the greater the increase you can expect. That sounds good. Before setting up camp, it would be prudent to eliminate any foes lurking nearby. Neglecting to do so heightens the chance of an ambush while your party is at its most vulnerable. Uh, we don't need to camp. We're full. We have full HP right now. But he's just explaining what the camping mechanic is. Okay. <clears throat> Follow me. We ought press on. Lest ought befall my brother. Okay. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. We're not going there. We're the following this guy. Let's go. We could rest here now or press on a while longer. Press on. Go. Why is he not? Oh my God, he's an idiot. Oh, they gave me a camping kit, but now I'm heavy encumbered. Shit. No one's coming to assail us. Here we go. Mayhap we've scared them all off. I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. Gotta make sure I don't get over encumbered. You can't fat roll because there is no there is no uh, rolling in the game. Holy shit! Your magic. Love your magic. I leveled up again. Wow. Leveling up like crazy in this game. Vocation rank up? Oh, cool. We leveled a vocation rank. Wonder what we'll get. Dr. Oink, thank you for a super chat.
Yeah, I might want to give something over because I'm, I'm I'm like heavy now. I don't want to be heavy. I want to be able to jump. So I'm wondering if I can give stuff over. Like, can I give this to Elric? Yes. See that? Now we're both at average uh, weight, which is what I wanted. So that camping gets heavy as shit. But, I mean, it's good if you're going to be able to rest out in the wilderness, right? So thank you, Dr. Oink, for that super chat. I appreciate that. First contribution in a while, so thank you so much. Okay. The combat's good, it's just all these enemies are so easy that I'm just steamrolling through, so I don't really have to use much. The, the Really, the climbing is really good against big monsters. It's fun to climb a big monster and strike it in a weak point. It's super fun to do that. Oh, we're almost there. <clears throat> Make sure you take stuff back from rented pawns. They keep it when you don't. It happened to you. So what? The pawns picked items up, and then when you got rid of them, you lost all the items? Oh, wow. So I'll be have to clear out their inventory before I get rid of them. Okay. Can anyone hear me? Please. I need help. Wolves. Holy shit, that's a lot of wolves. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Christian gets the worm, as they say. Oh, missed. Oh, my fire my sword's on fire. Kai, you're alright, better heal. Let my magic imbue your weapon. I missed shit. We did it, Elric level uh, six now. Cool. I I thought I was done for. You only need one camping kit ever. They don't go away. You keep it forever. That's good. So I don't have to work about worry about getting more. Actually, so... Oh, uh, let's see here. Laser Beam says, no, it's not true. Your stuff will go to your stash. So apparently you don't lose things if you trade in pawns. Anyway, I thought I was done for. Oh, it was a near thing. How are you feeling? I think I'll be all right. But if you hadn't come for me, I... Thanks, Ian. Save your thanks, Norbert. I'm your brother. I ought have come sooner. From where I'm standing, all that matters is that you made it in time. Anyway, I'm eager to be rid of this place. Let's return to the village, shall we? The sooner the better. I've got to deliver these medicinal herbs to the people who need them. Ah, you'll hear no complaints from me. Ah. Let's be off. Dr. Oink says if you're at camp and you get jumped at night, then you'll lose your camp kit, but otherwise you keep it forever. So that's why, I guess that's why they were saying clear the enemy. Clear the area of enemies the first. Right? So we're going back to town now, right? Defending you guys as we go back to town. Look there. Yep. Let's buy another statue. What say we mark it in our minds as a place of interest? What do you say? You spied a statue? Who saw a statue? What are you talking about? I don't see a statue. What's he talking about? Oh shit! Uh oh, there's a boss. Where? Where is the boss? Oh shit! Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Oh, I ran out of stamina. God damn it. I need my stamina back. Dave's just casting a fire spell on his ass. I'm gonna try to climb him down in his eye. Look at this. Beat his head. I impaled his neck. Yeah, look, I got him twice. 
That was pretty good. Game, he's on fire. It seems we have a great Shit, I didn't even know I was in the back yet. Oh, I got clobbered. Poor Hawk's almost dead. I hope that, uh, they heal. But I can't. I'm the warrior. Oh, I was trying to climb. Okay, they render their mobile when their health falls to zero. Your reason can attempt to revive them by clutching them. Whoa. Look at that! I held on. Stuck in his balls! Oh, he sat on me! Yo, he sat on me balls first. I can't move. I literally can't move. Oh my god. He sat on me balls first and murdered me. Then I could do we were winning. And he just decided he just kept sitting on me over and over. I couldn't move. I was completely frozen under him and I died. No, I didn't save. I don't even know where we're... we're... It was a glad thing to find Sir Norbert in good health. Oh, okay. Him back to Melv? Here we go. Do it again. Very well. I'll guide you there At least the auto saved. You have our gratitude. Wolves, master! This foe will recoil from pain. The other wolf go right here. You can't see the trees are in the way. We all missed. It's gonna be over here. What you're supposed to do is you stab and you have to every once in a while you have to hold the trigger again. Keep holding on. But you don't always have to hold the trigger. See, like right now I'm not. Now I have to keep moving. I tried and I got tossed. He sat down again. You want to jump and get a little bit of a head start when you're climbing. Idea where I was, I couldn't see anything. The graphics, the graphics are great, but there's so much shit going on, it's confusing. You can't even see where you are. He sat on me again. I'm gonna die again. He sits on me. I can't move. Look, I can't move. I can't even get up. Look, <laughs> he's flattening me. Where did he go? Oh my god. Try again. Got two health bars, by the way. We can ill afford to rush headlong into battle. Let us watch our phone carefully. We're getting big chunks off of them. Yes, I know. Shut the fuck up. Our healer. Come on, heal. What the fuck? Wow, I go to go get the healer and he hits me from off screen. I'm dead? <laughs> you couldn't even see him attacking. Wow. You you literally couldn't even see him attacking. I hit off screen. Okay.
No, the heads the head stabs were doing chunks of damage on him. That's the idea is to hit him in the weak point. It was a glad thing to find Sir Norbert in good health. Shall we get him back to Mel? I can guide you there. Look there. I espy another stack. I don't think I'll take a look. Let my magic give you your weapon with the fury of the elephants. can't see once again the problem right now is the camera and the graphics are amazing but i can't then i can't see what's going on <laughs> see by the time i get up there i'm out of stamina you must regain your it seems we have it raised off reckless opponent like crazy pride Grandma, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, already? What the fuck? Already? See, look, it does a chunk when you stab him in the face. It does a good chunk of damage. But now he moves me. Ow. I might get the boss. I'll try to revive him. Sorry, revive me. Nope. Clobbered me. I'm dead. Holy shit. He just insta kills me when he hits me. <laughs> oh my god. My pawns just stand in the way and get hit. Uh, Mursma, thanks for a super chat. My pawns just stand around and get slapped around. The lost gauge. Was a glad thing to find Sir Norbert Wait, good what? Shall we get him back to Mel? Are you kidding me? Every I time I die to that boss, the lost gauge is making it so I have no health. Why don't we go take a look? What? How stupid is that? I died and revived. Not really revived, I loaded. And loading gave me a loss on my health? What the fuck is that? That's incredibly stupid. Yeah, so I I can't get back half an energy bar. Yeah. I have to go to camp and rest and then come back, is what people are saying. Well, wow, that's really dumb. If you reload, I can understand if it lets you, like, resume the fight. If you're reloading, why the fuck do you then have to do this lost gauge bullshit? Oh, that's dumb. I don't like that at all. Here's a pawn waving. I'm attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. Hi. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Level six. Now we already have uh, enough. You're having trouble keeping up? No matter. I shall wait for you as long as it takes. The camp's all the way down here. Ugh. Can I grill some meat? I guess we could try since we are going to set up a camp now. Okay. Modest camping kit. Got an achievement. An intense adventure. How do you make meat? Hook. Here we go. Scrag of beasts. Do it. Let's buff our party then go fight the boss again. Look at this. I have some delicious steak. Sizzling. Look at that. Sizzle, baby, sizzle. That looks delicious. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Yes. I quite agree. At best we recuperate our strength before we set off again. Let's do that and then it'll save, right? Rest till morning. And then we switch save and then we can go fight the boss and if we die we can reload. And we won't take away our stuff. 
Let's do it. Let's save. Yep. Okay. So, now we gotta go back up where we came. I wanna fight that boss again. We were... We're getting close to beating him. We almost had him down the one energy bar. I wonder if these brothers can die. Do you think that was a, it's a real steak? It probably is, right? It's that video of a real steak frying up. I hope that these buffs stick around because these buffs will help us a lot in the fight, I feel. There are different meat cutscenes, I'm being told. Ugh. <clears throat> Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Is it true there's no fast travel? I don't know. I, I haven't explained any fast travel to mechanic to yet. But at least I know I'm up to the challenge. We must not let down our guard. <laughs> Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Okay. There is fast travel. He immediately sat on me. Are you right? Even though I wasn't near his butt, it still hit me. I can't move. I can't I literally can't move. Are you getting stuck in his ass? You the height of like an elephant. Look out, We're under attack. Come on, climb the head. Okay. Now we're talking. Look at this damage. Look at that damage, baby. Oh, he grabbed me. He didn't like that. He grabbed my ass. Oh, shit. He's going to crush me, isn't he? He's going to fucking crush me. Oh, no. Oh, he tossed me. He tossed my ass. It seems we have it ready. Down to his last health bar. He has two. We're doing much better with these bombs. Down his head. Oh, look at that. It stuns him and does a giant chunk of damage every time. Look at that. Let us watch our first Almost half health. Nice, I'm gonna fall. I'll get my stamina back. Quickly arisen. You must regain your footing. Alright, watch this. Right back to it. Right in the head. Look at that. Right in the face. I think we got him this time. We got him, dude. He's on fire, too. I fell off, but it's all right. I think we're going to win. The enemy slows. Perhaps we have tied them out. And finish him. Finish him. We did it. Yes. Yes. Done. Epic fight. We got a wizard's hat, a rugged bone, and a cinnamon bark. Ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. 
No harm in picking a few. Damn. Pretty good fight, right? A wizard's hat. Of course, that's not for our build, right? Let's see. Yeah, see, he can't wear it because it would show it if we could wear it. I can't wear a wizard's hat. Yeah, it's not for my class. Damn it, of course. Of course. Well, if we ever change classes, we can use it. Because you can't equip... Yeah, you cannot equip a pawn with new equipment. So. Well, figures, we get a freaking... Uh, a piece of equipment we can't use for my class, right? Look, there's this big-ass club. Alright, we did it. Well, that was fun. So what we needed to do is the buff. We did the healing buff. And then we were fine. By the way, what's this smoke over here? Is this another camp? It is. There's another camp behind the troll. Cool. Another camp behind the troll. So this will save it. What the? Oh, we're not going to make more meat. We just ate the meat. Rest. Rest till morning. Okay. Nicely done. Our first epic fight. There's going to be many of those in the game. Good morrow, everyone. Those big boss class um, monsters. We've much to be getting on with. Look what I, I found. Slept well. Nice. A trove beetle. Very cool. We got a trove beetle. And uh killed it. We killed the the o giant ogre thing. It shows it sometimes it shows like an element. See that? But I don't know what that means. See the icon? I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. Yeah, I don't see... Yeah, we'll find a use for it, I'm sure. We're standing on it, and it shows like a crystal. But there's nothing there. Maybe it's something we don't do yet. I'm not sure. So, by the way, can we fast travel? They want us to go back to town. Melv. Is there a way to fast travel? That waypoint, quest list, search local map. I don't see anything about fast traveling, so maybe you can't do it yet. I guess not. I guess we gotta go back. You need fairy stones? Oh, we don't have anything called a fairy stone. Alright, well. That was fun. Killed this giant dude. That was our first one of many, I'm sure, in the game. There's gonna be tons of those kind of bosses. There were in the first game. <clears throat> um. Oh. A ripened apple. Oh, we can make a fruit roberant. We made a fruit roberant. We can also make the dried fruit here. Exquisite dried spud. Bring all these items. This is the rare item, the cinnamon bark. It says if you use a fruit rover and the cinnamon bark, you make a rare item. Let's do it. Make mighty roverant. We made a mighty roverant. Now we know about it. We can make tarring arrows, but we don't need those because we don't have a ranger class. Here's another one. Fine harspid roverant. All right, that's all we can craft. We just made a ton of stuff. Cool. Do you have to eat in the game? No. It looks like the, the eating gives you buffs when you're at a campfire. That's how we beat that ogre, because we had the buffs, so it made us better. You saw, so that's how you're supposed to fight the giant enemies. You have to find what their weak points are. You notice when I was stabbing them in the back, it barely did anything. But when I stabbed them in the head, it started doing chunks. And as you hit them in their weak points, those big enemies will stun. You notice he was like getting stunned a little bit and wobbling around. If I wasn't stabbing him in the head, he wouldn't have done that. So basically, uh, that's how you fight giant enemies in the game. You've got to experiment, find the weak point, and just keep striking them there. And then they will, they'll basically kind of get stunned and fall over. And then you can finish them. Oh god, another pawn. What does this one look like? Restoration and reinforcement are the purview of a mage. You'll be safe in my care, Arisen. Scarlet. What level is she? Oh, a level 9 mage? Yeah. Let's hire her. 
and will replace my mage with her. Get rid of Kai. She's only level 5. We got a much better one now. What should we give them as an item? Give them, uh... Explorer's Boots. <laughs> Take my old I boots. I hope my magic served you well. May our past... If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. Have you forgotten All right, something? Scarlet has joined us You're as a mage. Rather lost. I think they all kind of play the same, though, right? Like, we haven't really noticed the difference between the two mages I already had. They kind of play the same way, right? So they just kind of fill a... a uh... Do you care to behold a forgotten writ stone as yet undiscovered in this world? Then follow me. It isn't far. A forgotten rift stone. The stamina items are useful for boss fights. You could have be quick using them by holding left bumper and picking the D-pad. It makes managing stamina health easier. Which one is it? The one in the bottom? I think up is healing and down is stamina, correct? So this, that would have recovered my stamina and I could have continued to climb and fight the boss instead of falling off. You're right. Thank you for reminding me of that. That's a big uh, gameplay element of the game from the first one and I forgot about that. So thank you. Thank you, Swaggo Nito. This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Or so I've learned. One of the guys we're supposed to talk with is over there. We're going back to town. Where are you guys going? You're gonna run into the water? The bridge is over here. Uh huh. Oh, shit! I fell off the cliff. Tread carefully by the water's edge. The brine lurk in deep waters, rivers, lakes, and the sea and will instantly consume anyone or something that falls into it. If this fate befalls the Arisen, they'll be revived momentarily, but they're the exception. Pawns become forfeit. Well, I'm fucked. Well, I'm okay, but now I'm soaked. They're saying your pawns will die if that happens. That would really suck to lose a pawn like that. Did we? Wait a minute. Did we lose a pawn? There's Elric. There's Scarlet. Where's Where's Hawk? I think Hawk's dead. I think Hawk fell in too. We lost Hawk. He fell in. Oh my god. We lost Hawk. He died. Well, I guess we need a new a new pawn, a new ranger. <laughs> Damn. We fell in Back face alive. first. That was an ordeal. I I'm exhausted, but I can rest after I've delivered these herbs. I'll be back soon. Good on you. Just take care, all right? You wonder why I don't follow him? So long as he stays away from that forest, he'll be fine on his own. When my brother told me he was going to fetch those herbs, I refused to join him. Said it was too dangerous. What with the monsters acting strangely of late, and I was right. <laughs> I may have none of this would have happened had I only gone with him. My brother is always the one taking the initiative, while I stand around with my hands in my pockets. You're a lazy bone. Today's misadventure showed me that the path forward is the one with fewer regrets. Even when you can't be sure where it leads, we managed to save Norbert. And perhaps that's all that matters. Still, I can't help but wonder if I couldn't have spared him some of the pain and fear he suffered. If I only steeled myself sooner. So from now on, I'm going to trust in my own instincts. There again will I let fear stop me from doing what I know to be right. Was Sir Norbert safe to return? A homespun cloak. Lack for medicinal herbs. Two good deeds in one, you might say. Nice. And now I have a cloak I can equip. I mean, we know they don't do that much, but hey. Here we go. It gives you... Actually, it's better than the one that was at the store. It gives you resistance to two different things. I mean, I have no idea what those resistances are. 
But I'll equip it. Cool, I got a cloak now. Sweet. And now that we're back in town, we could probably, like... Well, first of all, I need to summon another pawn, obviously. I fucked up. One of my pawns died. And then also we can see if, uh... If, uh... I can get a new ability at the inn. Well, let's get a new pawn to replace Hawk. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, excellent find. I'm gonna say excellent find. It's gonna go up there. It's probably like a, maybe the item up there, but not a big deal. Okay, we need another pawn. We need a ranger. So let me see. Search for a pawn. Advanced pawn. Level 7 to 9. And I need an archer. Ours just died. I only have 44 rift currency. I don't know how you get rift currency. Did it work? It's not working. Look. There we go. It wouldn't let me search for something I couldn't afford, basically. So, I get to up to a level 7 or 8, but the 8 will cost. Okay, it's searching right now. Here's one. Flora. 31 rift currency. Barbara, 31 rift currency. Fingers, 31 rift currency. Dragon. I'm gonna get a free one, because I want to save my rift currency. Valkyrie. Didn't we already have a Valkyrie? Maybe this is an improved version of the old one. Looks different, though. Maximum. A weird name. Here, we'll get dra Dragon. Why would you name Dragon? Dane Chase. Another Valkyrie. Everyone just says, I think it must be a generic name. How about Bitey Face? Sure, let's go with Bitey Face. I like that. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Jacob says you get rift currency from forgotten rift stones found out in the wilderness. Oh, okay. It could be quest rewards, enemy drops, or just found. All right. All right, Bitey Face. I guess you're my replacement. Oh, uh, my replacement archer. Cool. Now I want to go to the inn and just see if we can get a new ability. Speak with you, master. Shall we go to him? Where's the inn? I've already forgotten. If you would be so kind as to follow me. I shall take you to the one you seek. What is she talking about? A guide is most welcome. I want to try to find now the inn. We shan't lose Where was it way. in this town? This is the woman who, who helped you. This is just a tower. Over here, if you please. Climb the tower. What is she talking about? Over here, if you please. What are you talking about? What the fuck? I guess we're supposed to follow her? I don't know what's going on. I wanted to go to the inn. Trying to lead me to the person for the quest. I don't care about that. I wanted to go to the inn, but I guess we're following her. Here we are. What the fuck? I knew he was there. You idiot. I knew he was there. I'm trying to where's the inn? <laughs> what a dunce. Lead me to the guy I already know is there. Is this the end? No, I see it. It's over here. Having more of these to hand ought serve this as well in battle. Walking right Let by. Let us it. take care when and how we put them to use. Yeah. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both okay. roles myself. So I have 544 discipline points now, so I can get a bunch of stuff. Tusk toss. So this is when you hold X and release, you launch the enemy. I think I want to get this one. It's a Augment your physical defense. So now we're going to have more physical defense because we bought that. 
I have 244 more points. I'm six short of Tusk Toss. I get Airward Slash. Let's just do, do that. This is the one that's going to attack aerial enemies. We'll have that be Y. Okay. And then Elric has 434 points. Subtlety. Decrease the likelihood of being targeted by foes. Okay. Give him Subtlety. That's all we can afford. He learned, He has some new things to learn, like Helm Splitter. Look at this! Leaps up and dives through the air while spinning. Blades extended. More powerful when performed from high places. So he's going to do... It's a multi-hit move against enemies. Look at that. Like, chop up this dude. Or Powder Charge. Place an explosive on the ground at the user's feet that can be detonated from afar at the moment of their choosing. It can also be employed while clinging to or pinning down a foe. So you can put... A, oh my god! You can put a bomb on an enemy and then jump and blow it up. That's cool. All right, we'll probably work on that next, maybe. I like that idea, powder charge. But enough about me. Did you need something? Okay. Always a pleasure. So that's this that. Now we still, we still have two quests to do, correct? We have... Ooh. This one. You arrived in Vernworth. As the original as you see, the throne is yours to claim by night. Is, is this where your destiny begins? Huh? Get all these. I don't get it. Dang. It says, wait a minute. Make your way into the capital. We're not in the capital yet. So this is our mission then. We're not in the capital yet. We gotta go Tell follow the guy. Alright. La la la. So everything's coming together. Now we have healing items. We have stamina recovery items. We're getting better abilities for combat. Our party is leveling up. We're getting better pawns periodically, right? Hell, if you've a moment to spare, I'd like a word. Oh, what does he have a quest for us? As you can see, we're rebuilding a task that can always benefit from another pair of hands. Oh, what would I do this for? What say you? Would you be willing to help? <sighs> sure. Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. Ah. Though they're yet to cause any harm, their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. Watch me to take out some Saurians. I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. Cool, let's do it. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the Saurians scattering. A Saurian nest so near the village is worrying indeed. Let us see the explosive casks there as quickly as we may. Okay. Uh, quest. And... Nesting trouble. True enough. Explosive casks. Genesis Gaming says talk to the NPC at the inn. Oh, yeah? Make haste, then. No, I'm not, I'm not fucking Very going well. with you. Stop fucking Speak. talking to me, dude. I got shit to do. Are these the explosive casks? I found a cask. I have the cask. So throw. Look at this. Ready? What do ya? Freshly rested as Oh well. shit! Damn! Let down our guard. I kicked their ass, dude. That was it. Report back to Leonard. Damn! <laughs> that was sick. We gotta utilize tossing stuff in this game, man. That was an easy one. Well, that appears to have sent some of the beasts reeling, at least. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of poison into their nest. Any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot and steer clear of the village boundary in future. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. Yeah. The villagers use oh my god, poison the villagers. Base. You must make sure your aim is true. Are we clear? Good. You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one into the Saurians' nest, and your task is. So if I fuck it up, does it, do I get like a penalty? Now we are to throw a jar of poison. Be sure to handle it with care, Master. Thanks, Scarlet. I was totally not paying any attention to what he said. I'm glad you reiterated it. 
Oh, here it is. Look. Dubiously purple poison. So where is the nest? Same thing? I don't get it. Is that the nest? Cancel. I don't know how to do this. Where Where is this nest I'm throwing it in? I killed them all. So how do I know if that's the nest? Right? Uh... I mean, I guess it is, right? It has to be. Correct? No, no, no! Oh! Well done, Master. Those Saurians shan't dare approach the village for some time, thanks to your efforts. It counted? It... One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. No, I hit the river. I hit the river. <laughs> I hit the river, but it counted anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, this game is something else. You've done as I asked, I see. Many thanks for your efforts. And I must say, you've a fine arm. I couldn't have done better myself. Oh my god. Watching you got me thinking. It may happen you've the sense to inherit the skills I possess. Oh boy, is he give me some new abilities now? <laughs> or perhaps it's a little early for such talk. <laughs> In any event. Thanks to the work you've done for us today, the rebuilding efforts ought to proceed apace. And for that, I'm grateful. A moment long awaited. Okay. Outstanding. Nice. Leveling up more. An to be proud of. It is vital that we rest and regain our strength before moving on. Cool. All right, I think unless we walk around town and find any more missions, this guy looks like a vendor now. Well met. He is a vendor. Makeshift jail key. A key to the jail, a relatively crude make, it will break after a single use. Man, I wonder of what use this would be to us. If we go back to the beginning of the game and break back into the jail, maybe there's stuff there? That's what it seems like, right? A grimoire with arcane power. High thundermine spell, basically. Bunch of arrows. Ring of aggression. Can't afford it. A ring that grants power to the wearer. Boosts your strength. Ring of resolution. The wearer is less likely to be knocked down or staggered. These are good. These are pretty good, but I don't have enough money for any of them. Um, unless I could sell. I guess I'm going to sell the wizard hat because I'm not a magic class. So I might as well sell it and make some money. I don't need this anymore, do I? Provisioner's note? I don't think I need it. Whoa. A misshapen eye... It's worth a lot. It's worth 900. If I sell this, I can buy one of the rings, right? We used to enhance all these are used to enhance equipment, but we can't do that yet. Uh a soul stoutness extract. You're going to boost your defense and magic defense for a period of time. Nah, I don't want that. Do I? I could just eat it at camp. That's expensive. It's worth a lot. It's worth 500. I might sell it. I'm gonna sell it. Uh, oh, here's the the healing items I made. They're worth a lot. I might sell that eye because I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it yet. Right? It's the eye of a cyclops. Oh, we killed when we killed the cyclops. We got this. It's a super rare item. Oh. All right. I'm not gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell this rugged bone. That's probably more... The Rugged Bone's probably more common. And this is probably, like, rare. I'm gonna sell this. And I wanna buy that ring for 5,000. Yeah, Ring of Aggression. Boost your strength. I'm gonna buy this. Okay. So I just boosted my strength by putting the Ring of Aggression on. Okay. Hope to see you again. All right, so now I have a heavier, strength boost, which is good. Is yeah, I think we've done everything in town, right? Safer travels can hardly be called extravagant. Okay, let's talk. Let's do it now. We've done all these side quests. Let's talk to the guy, and I guess he's going to take us to the capital city. Make haste, then. We must leave anon. Probably not going to make it before my stream runs out or my stream time runs out here, but then let's let go. Then let us be on our way.
Where did he go? Right here. Where's he going? What the? He went in a circle. Dunce. <laughs> a lot of dummies. This is giving says no go to the end. Oh. All right, fuck him. Let him go stand out there. There's apparently, an NPC at the end. Don't let him die. I was gonna throw him off a cliff like the first guy. See what happens. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Oh, uh, excellent find. There's no NPC at the end for me. Look. Yeah, there's no one here. Unless you mean the guy at the desk. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see. That I can manage both roles. Huh? It is good to be busy. Work begets opportunity. Oh. Always a pleasure. Well, he's not here. What were you talking about, Genesis Gaming? He's not here. Maybe it was timed and I didn't know. But I don't see this guy here, so. Oh, well. Check the quest log. I didn't have... I don't have his quest. I don't have a quest for anyone there. Yeah. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Good. Grab all materials. My character needs sunglasses to complete the look. What do you mean? To look like me? I'm not wearing sunglasses. I'm wearing gunner glasses. Whoa, a whole bunch of these guys are coming with us. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Stop them, Master. We have no means to Parry! I did the parry. And that combo cost zero stamina. Oh, that was awesome. We liquidated those goblins. I did my first parry. That was awesome. I liked it. Damn, he killed him up there. Now Elric's level 8. Sweet. Sweet. Yes. That's, I mean, he's saying, he's saying my created character needs sunglasses. But I was like, but I'm wearing gunner glasses, not sunglasses. So how would that complete the look? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't have those in this game. Ouch. I didn't get the launcher yet, did I? know? I got shield bash. Bong! <laughs> nice. Oh, my vocation rank is up. Nice. A food roberint. We trounced our foe well in fruit. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Root Roberint. Take trial as it comes. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Verwind. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Oh shit. Harpy! Many pretenders. They are not dealt with like Ah, oh, I can not hit it. I wasn't close enough. Did I hit it? No, I fell on my face. Stay with me, Arisen. Wait a moment. I fell on my face when I went to do it. I, f I flipped and whoops. Oh, watch this. Oh! Oh my God! It worked! It worked perfectly. Yeah. 
Damn, these goblins just get fucking run over, man. You can't do shit. Elric's vocation rank up. Nice. So I think there's something... Oh, there's some gold. I think there's something down the ladder there. Let's see what's down here. Anything down here on the shore? Chest or something? Oh, there's a fish. Oh, I'll take that. A shore fish. She got something too, but I think that's it. All right, let's go back. <laughs> Pretty good game. I like it so far. I don't know, you know, long term. I, I, I don't know how good it'll be, but. I'm definitely having a good time with it. I like the open world roaming aspect that there's a lot of missions to do. You don't have to do them, but you you know you definitely benefit by doing them. Seems like the AI is pretty good for your pawns. They're not dunces who just fucking stand around. They're actually doing useful things like fighting and healing and buffing. And uh What's going on? There was an enemy down there they were fighting. What? Yeah, look what happened. No wait! Oh god, that was close. Oh no! God damn it! Where did they come from? Scarlet, you wanna heal me? I have like no health. Thank you. No health. Fell off the cliff. Are we gonna go back now? Can you guys stop? Wait, he's going this way. Now he's going back. Oh my god. Yeah. The AI is definitely a little weird, okay? But, for the most part, it's fun. I like. I really liked the ogre fight. I mean, we had to do it a bunch of times to beat him. Well, he's not, it wasn't an ogre, it was a cyclops, right? We had to do it a bunch of times. We had to buff at the camp, but when we beat him, it was fun. It was rewarding, you know? Oh, look at this. It's a blocked cave. I wonder if there's a way... I think there's a way to open this if you, like, blow it up. It looks like it, doesn't it? Look there. I aspire another statue. Right? Like, if you had a... Search for a path to lead us to it. Statue? Is that a statue up there they're talking about? I feel like you could blow those up later with magic or something, Why right? Remove this hindrance somehow? All right, well, I'm going to save. It looks like someone contributed the last minute. Thank you for that. And uh, we're going to basically adjourn for now, but I'm playing it more tonight. Probably another two to two and a half hours tonight. Which I'm happy because I feel like I feel like we're just getting into it. We're just getting our first dose, and now the game's starting to become more interesting. And now we're out of time. It would have sucked if we were only doing one session of it today. But I'm actually excited to jump into it more later tonight and, uh, and playing more. Walter Moss says, Seems like in a lot of ways this game is what Dragon's Dogma 1 wanted to be, but couldn't uh, when it was made. And then the Blim says, I'm great. This will continue tonight. I prefer days like this when a game is covered on both streams, especially when it's a premiere. But when Elden Ring DLC comes out, we'll do the same. And I received a $10 tip. Dragon's Dogma 2 is looking good. Have a tip. Thank you, whoever that is. I appreciate that. And uh, I certainly hope that everyone here who was here for the first three hours liked it. Let me know your thoughts if you're watching on demand. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Please leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Like I said, right now, the one shortcoming... I'll say there's two weird things. The first weird thing is that there's no targeting. And I've just played so many RPGs with lock-on targeting by clicking the thumbstick that it's weird to play one that doesn't have it, for sure. Um... But outside of that, the combat is sound. The questing is interesting. I like the open world. The one criticism that everyone will validly have is that it runs at 30 frames. It does. It's a 30 frame game, right? I'm okay with it. But yeah, it is jarring, especially when we're going to play other games that are going to be 60. And then we're going to come back to this one. It's going to be like, oh God, right? But I definitely like it. I, I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to more later tonight. And I hope that you will uh, uh, come back tonight to join me if you're here live. If not, if you're on demand, there's going to be more videos coming right away. So, all right, everyone. Thank you so much. Great premiere. See you tonight for more.